Hi, this is Shelly from Steno Stitches. This is Floss Tube episode number one. So this video is a long time in the making. It's something my husband and I have been talking about for six months or more. I guess that's not that long of a time, but it seems like it. He's kind of making me do it because as soon as I think about talking on a camera, eh, everything goes crazy. My heart races. I get crazy eyes, but we're just going to have to work through it. I plan to have all the usual segments as a regular floss tube, whips, new starts, uh, Whipgo. I'm enjoying Whipgo. This is my first year doing it. My husband has recently gotten into designing, so I will have periodic model stitching and sneak peeks of what he's going to come out with. I'm going to have to look at my notes a lot. Sorry. This is my first time. I'm super nervous. Everything I thought I was going to say goes right out of my head. I won't have much of a haul segment. I'm kind of adopting the minimalist attitude uh, with COVID I learned that I was spending way too much money frivolously on quilting supplies as you can see I am an avid quilter I've taken a break since COVID started and really switched over to cross stitch because it's so much more affordable um, but anyhow I really have a tight budget I'm always over budget um, so I only buy what I really need Unless I'm feeling like supporting a small business, sometimes I'll make a frivolous purchase just to support a small business. So as I said, we are branching into the designing, so we do have a few patterns on, on our Etsy shop. It's Steno Stitches. We've had a few patterns um, stitched by other floss tubers. Carla from Rolodex Stitches, or Rolodex, she stitched um, this is the way for us, which was super fun. I've just shipped off the project bag that I made for her. Can't wait for her to show it and get it. Um, Jody from Steel City Stitches stitched our Dear Autocorrect piece. That was also fun. Also in each video, I'm trying to come up with a fun game for us to play each episode. I don't want to tell you all the details yet, but it is coming. And the prize will be a project bag that I made myself. So let's get into the stitching because that's what we're all here for. My current whip, I work on the first week of every month. It is um, Every Season by Tiny Modernist. It's not a current sal, but you can tell it's blocked out and it was a sal, a mystery sal. I got it for my birthday. I've been working on it since the start of the year. I'm currently on the fall section. I probably should take it out of the Q-snap so that you can see the whole thing because it really is beautiful. I love it because the sections kind of have a Charles Wysocki feel and they're little tiny bits of full coverage, which I'll never do full coverage, but this is as close as I get to full coverage. And the colors are just so pretty and it's really fun. And I am stitching that on the called for water lily that I got at Fire Poppies and the called for DMC. My next current whip is the uh, Stitching Book Club Sense and Sensibility Sal by Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts. I have just started section three. I realized that I had the orientation on my fabric going in the wrong direction, so I don't think it's going to all fit. I'm going to have to make some creative adjustments to it. That's okay. I really enjoy that um, stitching book club. I love that I'm reading all these classic books that I really never would have read otherwise. I do listen to them so I can stitch at the same time. Oh, that is being stitched on, I think it's Blue Ice linen that I got at Fire Poppies. I did over dye it some to 
give it some dimension. I use some blue and some gray. So it kind of has um, more of a older rustic look. Okay, next I will show you a new start, which is also a salve that Nicola from Bumble Stitches started. It started on April 1st. It is hashtag pocket full of posies salve. And she said it just has to be something with flowers. So it has flowers. I'm stitching it because it also has bees, which I have a bee bathroom. And so it'll go in the bathroom. I'm just pulling up the picture. Of course, I wasn't prepared. Here it is. So that is the pattern. I just fell in love with those colors. And that pattern is in the mm -hmm, 2001 spring issue of PNPS magazine. I always say that wrong, so I'm just going to say PNPS. Um, it is called Even Busy Bees by Norden Canber of Twin Peaks Primitive. And this is the start that I have. Looks unusual right now, but um, this is on a piece of 28 count even weave that I hand dyed myself. I'm using almost all of the called for DMC. So that was a new start and a saddle. Speaking of Nicola at Bumble Stitches, her and Liz at Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch did the uh, project bag along. I don't remember exactly what it was called, but it just so happened that I had been working on project bags for my Etsy shop and I had seen a Riley Blake video on Instagram about using, I believe, Lori Holt quilt blocks to make project bags. And so I had started some, but I didn't like the way that the quilting turned out. So I decided not to put them in my Etsy shop. But turns out I was like right in the same wavelength way of thinking as those two girls, Nicola and Liz. And I have a Lori Holt strawberry prepped, quilted, ready to go and be made into a project bag and a cherry one. All I need to do is cut the vinyl and sew it all together. And I am right there with you ladies. I also have a pumpkin and a flag, a number of things from the Farm Girl Vintage book. I had made the six inch squares and the 12 inch squares when I was making the quilt. And I decided not to use the 12 inch squares for whatever reason, I don't exactly remember. So I had a number of them quilted and ready to go. And I thought this is a perfect way to use up those extra blocks is to make them into project bags. So, if I ever stop stitching long enough, I'll finish these into project bags. Next, I'll show you my whip go for April. I don't remember the numbers that exactly go along with these, but that's okay. So the first one is Celebrate Halloween by Madame Chantilly. I started this on my son's 18th birthday, May 20th in 2000. And I am almost done almost done. All I really have is the raven at the top and some back stitching. I changed all the colors around. This was when I really first started getting into cross stitch again so it was a big learning curve. You notice that the white doesn't show up that well on this fabric which is very frustrating but it's too late now. This is just like a cream 16 or 18 count Ada. Um, not putting the words at the bottom. I just decided to leave that out. The other whip go for April was The Gnomes by Jardine Privé. Take that package, sorry for the crinkle. That 
is the pattern. This was the beginning of my obsession with gnomes. Here's what I have done so far. It is super fun. It is super cute. Also, you can tell this is when I first started back into stitching. The white does not show as well as I would want it to. But you live and learn. And this is also um, hand dyed by me. Even weave, 28 count. Let me get a sip of my drink. Next up, sneak peek. This is something that my husband has been working on for a few months. I won't tell you what holiday it's for. Maybe you can guess. I started this yesterday. That's all I've done so far. That is hand dyed, 28 count Monaco. I'll give you a little clue on what holiday it might be for by showing you the colors. Let's see how that goes. Fail. Okay. Next, I'll show you some finishes. This next one is a gift for my mother in law who lives in Newport, Rhode Island. They have a live in boat, they walk, in, walk to the ocean every day. She loves mermaids. So, when I saw this pattern, I said, I've got to make this for her. I changed all the colors. This is the pattern. Also in PNPS Magazine, 2019, I believe, summer. It is by Isabella Abiati of The Primitive Hair. It's called I Believe in Mermaids. This is what I've done. It's kind of hard to see. The colors are better back here. I'm not sure that you can really see the see the details as good as I would like, but it was really fun. This was on um, some fabric that was gifted to me by like a secret pal exchange that we had here in South Carolina on our Facebook group. I believe it's Monaco just by the feel, and this big honk of floss. Sorry for the mess. Was also a gift. Um, from the same person so I used that on the tail and it made that really nice variegation that looks like um, scales if you will and then I just picked the other colors because I know that's what she likes and I know we're not in March anymore but I do have my uh, March Madness finish I had three actual finishes Two FFOs and one finish. Um, the other one I'll show you later. One is a picture in the intro. I just didn't feel like bringing in everything that I've done because the video would be really long. But anyhow, this was the one that actually won. I haven't FFO'd it yet because I was waiting for Kathy at Hands On Design to post um, a tutorial on how she wraps her, her um, hoops. And that came out today and I watched it this morning, so I'll be FFOing this soon. But here it is. You might have seen it on my Instagram if you follow me. So cute. I love the scissors. I love Barbara Anna. Let me just pull up the details on this because I will not remember. So that is Winter Stitching by Barbara Anna. And it was in the February 2001 Just Cross Stitch magazine. I'll show it to you one more time. I'm stitching it. I stitched it on 32 count nougat linen from Fire Poppies, which I just love that color. And I chose my own DMC. And I plan to finish it in a hoop like she did. And I'm going to wrap it in some fabric. All right. The last section is haul and another finish. They kind of go together, that's why I did it that way. So the only haul I got in March 
was from Needlework Expo. I pre-ordered three patterns from the same series. It's the When I Think of Blank in Whatever Month um, by Puccini Puccini. And I'm seeing that you cannot really see that very well. So I'll take it out of the plastic. I'm sure you've all seen these in the Expo stuff. They're very popular. They're very cute. I love them. I did March. And that was my finish. This was a March Stitchy Madness start and finish. I just love this little tray. I got it at Dollar Tree or Dollar General. I know Jody from Steel City Stitch Stitches had got some of these. They're just so cute because who doesn't like a tray? And it's a little mini tray. My husband stained it for me and I just finished it on some, you know, sticky board and I can pop it out as needed. I put magnets on the back. So that's about all I have. We've gone over whips, whipco, new starts, haul, finishes. I think I covered it all. This is a really short video, but it's my first one. So, you know, I'll get better. So plans, all I really have for next week is um, Maury Holt's Prim Stitch Series. That's the second week of the month that I work on that. It takes about five days for me to finish a section, so it's perfect. I didn't show it today, I'll show it next time, but every Saturday I work on Quaker Pumpkins by Hello Liz Matthews. That is so fun, and it's nice that I set aside that one day to work on it because it's special and it makes it more fun to work on it on that allotted time. I hope to finish the final part three section of the Sense and Sensibility Sal. And that's about it. Maybe get into a little bit of whip go stitching. And that's it. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope it wasn't too choppy and all over the place. Hope I didn't talk too fast. I see this is a really short video. Um, but yeah, check out our Etsy shop, Steno Stitches. And we'll see you next time.